over a million people live in what's become known as the Festival City, Edmonton. And the Fringe Festival, usually held in August, is one of the biggest. Trev, Edmonton is a place that comes alive. The Fringe apparently brings in around 120,000 visitors. No wonder the place is pumping. It is absolutely pumping. There's 200 different acts, over 1,600 performances. And the thing has become so big now that it's outgrown the original showgrounds here in Old Strathcona. And there's actually venues around the outside. They're called BYOVs. BYOVs? Bring your own venue. Oh, How good is that? I want to see those. Come on, let's check it out. <laughs> The theme for this year's festival is the village of the Fringed. Festival director Thomas Scott explains. It's a parody on uh, Village of the Damned and Edmontonians love to have a theme and they embrace it and it sets the tone for the entire 11 days of the festival. So we have a lottery system where artists put in their name in a hat, we pull their names, we have 107 slots in which we fill and it also makes it a viable opportunity for theatre artists from around the world to come and put up a new work in front of an audience that understands independent theatre. Actor Nick Stevenson and writer-director Kerry Bowden have come all the way from Fremantle in WA to present Kerry's one-act play, Birth, Death and Somewhere in Between. It's such a great opportunity to, you know, not only showcase our performance but to see other performances from all around the world as well. I mean, this is the first international performance that the Strawbo Collective has done and it's just, it's so much fun to be here as well. Fringe itself has got the context of experimental theatre, so it's an opportunity because the Edmonton Fringe Festival is not juried, so if you've got a play ready you can just get up there. It's like the artists are choosing the festival rather than the festival choosing us. <laughs> 